Good day, good day, beloveds. I trust that you are all well. God has laid a word in my spirit. Let us begin with a word of prayer. Father, we cover this word with the blood of Jesus. Minister to the hearts of your people. Let them not hear me, but let them hear you through me, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, beloveds. Today we are concluding our series on kingdom values. We're doing part three. And our theme for part three is armed with the word. Let us do a quick recap. In part one, we spoke about seeking God's kingdom and all its righteousness first we spoke about implementing the fruits of the spirit in our lives if you lack any of the fruits of the spirit begin to implement them galatians 5 verse 22 to 23 tells us about the fruits of the spirit those being love joy peace kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self-control if you lack any of these Begin to implement them in your life because living a life of kingdom values, it incorporates the fruits of the spirit as well. You know, if you, if you are impatient, be more, have more kindness, more patience, more love. Begin to implement those fruits of the spirit in your life. Part two, we spoke about the world system versus God system. That the world system, anything goes. But in God's systems, there are principles. Romans 12, verse 2. Do not conform to the, the patterns of this world, but be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind. Seeking God means all things will be found in him. Now we are going into part three. Be armed with the word. When you look at at Ephesians 6. Ephesians 6 talks about the armor of God. It talks about the armor of God. It says we do not fight against flesh and blood, but we fight against principalities in the unseen world. So it talks about putting on the full armor of God. What is the full armor of God? The breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, the helmet of salvation, the sword of faith, and the shoes of readiness to go and proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ. So part of the kingdom values means you need to be armed with the word and you need to be armed and put on the armor of God. When you go out to wherever you're going, you don't go not dressed. You dress up. So even with pertaining to kingdom values, you need to dress up. You need to be armed with the word because we are not fighting things that we see. We are fighting principalities. So if you are fighting against somebody who has a gun and you don't have a bulletproof, if they shoot you, the likelihood is that you will get wounded. But if you have the bulletproof and there's a, there's a gun or there's an attack to your life, you will be protected by the bulletproof. Now, the armor of God is our bulletproof. So you need to continuously put on the armor every day. Wherever you go, before you go to work, before you go to school, or wherever you're going, put on the armor of God. Put on the armor of God. The breastplate of righteousness. The belt of truth. The shoes of readiness. The sword of faith. And the helmet of salvation. Once you've put that on, then you are ready to step out of your house. You are protected. You decree the blood of Jesus. You plead the blood of Jesus upon your house. There's a teaching I taught about pleading of the blood of Jesus. That it's, it's, it's something that we take lightly, but it's very, very important. That is why in the book of Exodus, God said to Moses, when I see the blood, I will pass. City. So when we arm ourselves with the with the word, we need to also continuously plead the blood. You plead the blood of Jesus upon your car. You plead the blood of Jesus upon your property. You plead the blood of Jesus upon your children, your husband, your spouse, your marriage, your life. 
upon everything pertaining to you, upon your desk at work, your chair at work, you plead the blood. Because people do different things. We don't have the same belief systems. So you need to arm yourself with the word and you need to plead the blood of Jesus. Living a life of kingdom values means living a life of kingdom principles. And part of the kingdom principles is being armed with the word. The Bible in Joshua 1, it says, meditate on this book of the law and be careful to do everything written in it and then you will be prosperous and everything you do will succeed so for you to be able to get the presence of god you need to be in the presence of god i'm going to say that again for you to be able to get the presence of god you need to be in the presence of god meaning when you are in the presence of god when you are seeking God and all his righteousness, all things will follow. The gifts will follow. The miracles will follow. The breakthroughs will follow. But you need to follow the kingdom values. You need to be in line with the principles of the word of God. Be armed in prayer. Be armed with love. Live a godly lifestyle. Be armed with revelation. God wants us to be fruitful god wants us to be fruitful john 15 verse 5 it says that i am the vine god says he's the vine and we are the branches god wants us to bear good fruit god wants us to be successful when we are successful it pleases god but god wants us to be successful having been rooted in the word, having been rooted in his principles. Therefore, when you are rooted, you'll be able to sustain your blessings. How are blessings sustained? Through God, through prayer, through seeking the kingdom of God, because everything is found in his presence. So be armed in prayer. Stick to the vine, that being God. Be armed in prayer. Stick to the vine that being God and you will bear much fruit in your life when you be when you are armed in prayer you are living a godly lifestyle and you stick to the vine that being God you will bear much fruit in your life I declare it and I decree it that if you are armed in prayer and you stick to the vine that being God you will bear much fruit in your life in your workplace, in your business, in your ministry, in your marriage. Be armed in prayer. Stick to the vine that being God. And you will bear much fruit. God bless you, beloveds. I pray that this series has blessed you. If you, if this is the first um uh, series that you're seeing if this is, is if you're only seeing part three you haven't seen part one and part two please look at part one and part two of kingdom values so that you are caught up with an in, with the entire series i pray this series has helped you it has enlightened you and it has equipped you in the name of jesus father i cover this word with the blood of jesus lord i pray in the mighty name of jesus that this has been a word of enlightenment for your people. Thank you even for the testimonies that are going to be coming from this word. I declare it, I decree it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Beloveds, God richly bless you. God richly bless you. All my information is in the description box for prayer requests, testimonies one-on-one. -on -one. My information is in the description box. If you are led to sow into the ministry, my information is in the description box. God richly bless you, beloveds. Thank you for all of you who are reaching out, who are emailing, who are sowing in this ministry, who are sending in your testimonies. Wow, it is amazing what God is really doing in the lives of his people. Thank you so much. I love you all so much. God richly bless you, beloveds. Shalom.